biggin, biggin, biggin. Stop, 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 stop. stop. No way, bro. Oh. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. Today we're getting out on Lake Louisville. It's been a while. Uh, our boat is actually in the shop, but we're joined by our buddy Clint Bartlett up front. What's up, people? Man in the old Garmin, and he's uh, making the first few casts out here. We're gonna fish shallow today. I don't really know what's on the agenda as far as like specific baits I'm gonna throw. Water clarity is not looking too hot, I will say that, after all the storms we've been getting. It's been nothing short of like 30 mile per hour winds this entire week. With that said, we're gonna try and catch some fish. Today is some good weather. Clint's starting off with a big old glide. It looked like he's fishing along the dock here, and uh, we're just gonna have some fun. I think I'm gonna start off with some Lucky Charms, maybe. Break out the energy drink, really get the juices flowing, get warmed up, and then uh, make my first cast as well. We're gonna go ahead and start fishing, y'all. The GoPro's rolling already, so wish us luck, Lake Louisville, out here in Dallas, Texas. Got him, got him. There we go. Nice. First one of the day on the Jiggy Jig. Black and blue because of the clarity, y'all. You don't effed up my crack and crawl, son. How you gonna do that to me? What is that? <laughs> what, what is that? Founder? No, 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 like the type. The, like, the tongue. What's the tongue. That's a spot. Is it a spot? Okay, we got us a little spotted bass. I got the species identifier out here. Right in the rocks, this looks like a nice little cranky type of spot as well. And uh, that's the first one to actually connect. We're gonna let this guy go. See you, bud. Got him. Nice. Fish number two in the boat. Technically that's your second on the day though, yeah. right? You caught one before I got on the boat. So we're three fish in y'all. Let's go. Oh, got something right here at the boat. Little guy, yeah, it's not even a, I, yeah. <laughs> Did you? <laughs> Another fish in the boat, not what we're after. Come on, Crank. There y'all are. We out here. Louisville. <laughs> well, we made it to the back 40. Kind of hunting for some shallow fish. Didn't seem to be too much, so we getting back on out of here. <laughs> Wait, no way, no way, bro. Oh, oh my God. That's a big one, dude. Oh, yes. son, yes. what did you just do? Oh my God. <laughs> you good? I got my bait in the water here. Net in my left hand, tranks in my right. Bro. You got it. What do you think? That's got to go. Oh, sheesh. Let me hit that spot lock real quick. Yo. Dude, did y'all catch that? <laughs> That's my first uh, time seeing a big bass uh, getting pulled out of Louisville off the boat I'm fishing on. Clint just freaking crushed it on this like summer crawl color or whatever it is of the Kraken crawl, just flipping it in there. And uh, along the rocks and went to pick up and uh, just kept reeling and it was just like, it was there. So let's check out this fish. Like, yeah, we haven't even, we put it straight in the box, keeping the fish in good health. And this thing is looking, I mean, it's it's gotta be six plus. I really don't know. Let me clean y'all up so you can get the best visual here. I mean, that's a lengthy, that's a lengthy girl. I'd say six and a half. Man, that looks like a big fish. That's so <laughs> What's up, butter girl? Dude, she's pretty too. Hey, we've been we've been working. I do have a scale. We have been working the banks, y'all, back in this cut for hours. I mean, like next to no bites. I got that little spot. We got that white bass, and and to just out of nowhere, luck out with a giant. Wow. Clint's got her in the water. Let me get this on uh, pounds instead of kilograms. <laughs> She's zeroed out, sir. Okay. You ready? Yep, yep, yep. Let's see. It's six, hundreds, six, it's hundreds. Six, okay. So. 606. 606, y'all. Right six six pounder. pounder. Holy smokes. Woo. Dude. What the heck? <laughs> I was a little off of my judgment, but that's such a long fish, man. I was curious because it did look slightly skinny. I was curious if it was going to go between five and six, but it's got the length. That's a, mm, what a bass. Lake Louisville, holy smokes. 
It's a day. Yeah. I'm so happy. Yeah. That's like third fish in the boat. Pretty. I mean, we, we've caught a couple dinks, man. I would count that as like third fish in the boat because I, I caught one that was not a bass. We caught two dinks, basically. And <sighs> I'm literally speechless. Well, hey, another four of those, and we got what? 30, 40 pounds. <laughs> so we're going to have at it, man. We're going to keep fishing this bank, I believe, and see what else might be lurking. Get a couple photos, put her back, and uh, that will be that, y'all. What a day out of nowhere. It was okay. It was a six. Six? Yes, sir. Yeah. Yeah, not too bad. Happy with it. Haven't had too many bites today, so. Yeah, I've only had two. Yes, sir. It's been tough. Thank you very much. I like that boat, man. I, I had an 88. Yeah, it's an 86. Nice. Y'all have a good day. Thank you. 20 pound fluoro leader. That footage is gonna be pretty cool. <laughs> no way. No way. Bro. Oh. Oh my God. That's a big one, dude. Get it in the net. Get it in the net. Oh. Yes. Yes. Dang. You got all the angles too. Man, you gotta use loop mode. But you know. Until you get used to it, people do delete their clips on accident. Anything happens, any tips given, anything at all, re save your clip. I have it set up on five minutes, but you can have it at like 10 or 15 or whatever, but then it's like, then there's less of a point in using it. Like if you, if you save a clip every 15 minutes and it, you know, you're just barely saving card space, but you know, I was probably rolling for the last half hour 45 minutes nothing happened then i just saved that and i only got five minutes worth of card space taken up instead of 45. so there's huge benefits if you don't hook it up <laughs> normally i even have spare cards on me but i was trying to like just bring the essentials despite this huge tackle bag knowing that i was gonna be taking up all this room and to think i hate this like or i should say it's just not ever been my my favorite my go-to coming up looks kind of like where we were catching them and it's kind of close to the, you know, open and deep water out there too. It could be, could be the favorite of some of the big fish, but they probably go back there. Oh, that's a bite. Is he on? Yep, yep, yep. Biggin, biggin, biggin. Oh boy, another biggin, another biggin, Clint. <laughs> Wowzers! All right, she ain't gonna qualify for six, but I, I bet you she goes four and a half or so. That's a solid one, man. Yowzers! Banditer bug and green pumpkin purple. Putting in the work. Wow, that one was kind of just out there too, off the point, man. Sheesh, look at that top of the mouth hook set. I think this one's going in the box too, y'all. We finna have a little picture. Just got her, oh, nope, 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 don't do that. Don't do that, why would you wanna do that? Why would you even try? Nope. Got a pink one, I doubt they see that often. All these are effed up. The nose is blown out. I guess I'm fishing the one without eyes. Time to lose some money. I don't think they'll second guess this as a bait. Oh, a goby, my favorite Louisville treat. The last one of the season. All right, we're switching it up since they kind of switched up. No eyes, just how we like it. Oh man, I <gasps> got him. No, 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 I had a bite too. I think it pulled on the tail. I'm just gonna tell myself it didn't get the hook because that felt really good. Oh, uh, no. The blowout happens every time. What? Dude, my other two in the box, are, I didn't throw them because the nose was already blown out on it. Yeah, they, um, I mean, it happens like the first session if you're catching a couple on it. Well, we're gonna keep rocking them, see what happens. Just missed a bite. Now y'all know what happens with the dark sleepers. These ones are already ripped, and that's why I didn't tie one of them on. Instead, I opted for the one that wasn't ripped, and it ripped. So, I'm gonna continue using it, because I do have a little faith. Spinner bait might be nice. Yeah, no. All right, I'm trying to tuck away from the wind just a little bit, man. We got to recap this real quick. We just want to fish this bank because it's been so productive. I've never seen fish like this come out of Louisville because uh, I fished it like 10 times total. Half the time, we're just, I don't know what we're doing. I guess we just suck at fishing. We just don't catch fish. It's not, it's not Clint. Clint's never fished with me here before, I don't believe. Or Clint has never taken me fishing here. Shame on him. <laughs> it's just a little bit of a tough fishery. I feel like, I feel like if I've had a big fish on the hook here, it's been like, it wouldn't have been a white bass because that wouldn't be a big fish, but I've like hooked into a gar on accident. You'll catch catfish. You'll, you'll hook into everything aside from a largie. 
half the time. But in the spring and leading up to spawn is when you might be able to have a nice shot at a giant off the bank. We can't see these fish at all. It's like one foot visibility. You literally, you're just blind casting at the bank and if you get lucky, you get lucky. Clint was about to get lucky. All right, let's get back in the water. Sure. Ready to rock. not known for being the best lake in Texas. It's uh, pretty far from it sometimes, but actually holds some awesome fish, which we got to see two of them today. <laughs> only two, I know we only caught two fish, but there are some good ones. So it shows that the quality's in this lake and uh, it keeps you coming back. 100% man, and especially if we can get out together. I mean, I had a blast with you. Definitely want to thank Clint for not only the invite, but putting us on some big fish. And it is at this point in the video, I want to take a minute to mention my, uh, MVP for the day. This literally held everything. The tackle, the food, the drinks, the camera gear. If y'all want to grab one of these right here, head on over to GuggenSquad.com. Save yourself some money with code Weston on some of the baits we used as well. Crack and Craw caught the six, Bandito Bug caught the four, and of course you can grab some nuke punches, blazing worms, rods, whatever you need y'all. It is there for you. We had a blast on Lake Louisville. Didn't think it was going to turn out this hot as you just heard, and lo and behold, there are some giants in here. We hope you dug it, and we'll catch y'all on the next one. Peace. 45 minutes in, he's bringing this thing to the surface. Oh my god! <laughs> The whole boat's just leaning to the right, everybody's over there. <laughs> hey. Ooh, whoa! That's like a five or six, though. Whoa! Okay. <laughs> Come on, baby.